All right, welcome everyone. In today's video, we are going to talk about top five cybersecurity project you should have in your resume, okay? And this is going to help you uh, while you are giving the interviews and also upskill you for, for a SOC analyst or security analyst job, okay? So without taking much time, let's talk about those five projects. The first project is Splunk Sim Home Lab, okay? what is this project what is this home lab about well uh in this home lab you will learn about how to set up splunk uh splunk security essentials app as well enterprise security you will learn how to perform security investigation uh security forensics and everything related to attacks as well how to detect or find or discover a web-based attack or network-based attack that happened in the past okay so you can check out the uh, link to this home lab that I personally prepared. Uh, this will definitely help you to sharp your Splunk security skills, okay? Now tool, uh, sorry, the home lab number two would be Wireshark home lab. Now, this is very, very, very important for, for every SOC analyst, okay? So you should be very, very good with the Wireshark home lab. Uh, again, I have mentioned the home lab link, my GitHub account for all this home lab. Uh, it is, the link is mentioned in the description below. And uh, in this home lab, you will learn how to perform a normal network analysis, uncover some unique uh, features about Wireshark, how to, how to do the malware traffic analysis, how to do security forensics and there are different tasks and projects mentioned in in the home lab itself so i suggest you definitely check that out okay now let's talk about the uh home lab number two three sorry that's a static malware analysis home lab in this you will learn about different tools to perform the malware analysis that's majorly uh, to analyze the malware without even executing it okay so that's a safer but you won't get quite a lot of information, but it's always good to start malware analysis with the static, okay? Uh, in this, you will go through quite a lot of tools to find out the hash value, to perform the lookup of those hash value on tools platform like Wirestotem, okay? So this is definitely help you to sharp your SOC analysis skill, okay? Let's talk about the home lab number four, the checkpoint firewall home lab. Now, um, you might wonder why should we learn firewalls if we want to get into cybersecurity? Well, here is the case. Firewalls are also part of cybersecurity. In short, we call it as network security space. And even Checkpoint has a lot of, uh, you know, security components into it related to URL filtering, uh, application controls, uh, threat emulation, threat intelligence capability anti-bot and everything so this is definitely going to help you out um in in the home lab that i'm talking about that i prepared i've also mentioned how to install a checkpoint home lab yourself and how to go through each individual uh, scenarios and exercises as well okay so do check that out thank you now uh not yet it's not done yet we have number five uh that's windows defender for endpoint by the way it's not windows defender it might be a typo or my mistake so sorry about that it's microsoft defender now okay so it's microsoft defender for endpoint home lab now uh in this basically uh wherever you go as a uh, as a role of SOC analyst you have to learn about what is uh what is edr tool so microsoft defender is all about an edr platform you will learn how to look at different alerts coming in from different endpoints of the organization. You will also learn about different threats, how to uh, how to perform, uh, how to submit any samples, maybe of files, maybe an IP address, or maybe suspicious hash value as well. Or you can also do threat hunting by running some queries, just like OS Query, which is basically an uh, an open source platform. Uh, for performing threat hunting and security investigation uh with edr tools also help you to do that okay you will also learn to uh, look perform a lookup on threat intelligence 
and uh, also vulnerability management and threat management as well so this is definite definitely very very important in in the organization that you might be uh, might work in the future or you might be working at this moment they might be using different edr tools like sentinel one or crowdstrike carbon black but uh, all works exactly the same though all all those tools have similar kind of feature and capability so do check this out I have also mentioned how to install, how to set up the account and how to perform threat emulation and different scenarios and testing as well. So I, I believe this will definitely help you uh, to gain more and more knowledge on it. Okay. So if you have any questions about any of this five home lab, do let me know in the comment section. I have uh, mentioned, I'll mention the link of all this home lab in the description below. This is me, Rashnish Gupta. Bye for now.